Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of my little flat world survival project archer check thingy. I still get out of my bed you! <laughs> still don't really know what the title of this is actually called um, uh, properly. It's a bit of a weird idea I've had, right? Anyway, um, a huge shout out to Science Saber in the comment section. Um, yeah, I've, I've got out of the nether basically and actually an unequip my shield look. I haven't really done a lot of camera, guys, I'm not going to lie, because I've been quite busy working on marketplace maps and stuff. Um, I've got all of this stuff I can put in here. I don't think I can put these. Um, this mod pack's been updated quite a lot. Look, you can see up in the top corner there, I've got an EMC value now forever, which is really, really handy. It's not um, in your face, neither, which is quite nice. I think this is updated like three times since I've actually last played it, um, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, Science Saber said in the comment section that I should try and get myself a um, armorer villager um, and then trade up with him until I can get the diamond gear, basically. Um, so I need myself a smithing table, right? Um, I don't think that's going to be too hard. I don't even know if I've got one. Nope. So I need to get some iron, which I think is just two pieces, right? And we need to get some planks. It's probably way more than I ever need. I'm just going to make myself... A crafting table and I really need to get this diamond to get mega torches as well just in general to stop things spawning around is there a way to stop slimes I mean I could just turn into a creeper or something right somebody's mentioned that in the comment section Ooh. there we go I know they don't do any damage I just want to get rid of the noisiness right crafting table Let's make ourselves a smithing table. Boom. And then we can lift up all this. Oops. And kind of get rid of that for now. And we can take this back. So remember we enchanted this with tinted. Nobody's told me what that is in the comments section. I was hoping you were going <laughs> to. At least I didn't I didn't spot it, um, unfortunately. Right, there's a guy over here. Look, he's got no um, professions. So let's uh, change this guy. There we go. Well, you probably need a bed as well, right? I don't really know how it works on Java. They're a bit special, aren't they? <laughs> so you can see I've got myself a toolsmith. I am just literally leveling this guy up. Um, unfortunately, I've locked his trade for iron. So I'm going to have to uh, invest in this pipe, which is a new kind of trade. I don't really know what that's for, but we're going to just buy it anyway. Oh, I unlocked a trident. Didn't even know they were in it. I can't remember how you use them. They were in ocean block. I know that. Oh no, this is the wrong guy. This is a tool smith. But I can actually hopefully melt down an axe. I'm supposed to get an armorer. I need a I need a grindstone, don't I? Oh god. It's not the greatest axe in the world, but there we go. We got our diamond axe. Beautiful. Oh god, I hate these slimes. <laughs> Right, we need to get into some tinkers now to mount down a diamond axe and so we can actually get ourselves a diamond in exchange for it. So let's just kind of go in my house over here with the uh, nether portal. There we go. So diamond axe is worth a very high amount of EMC, which is quite crazy. Um, we're going to just put this thing outside here as well, just because why not? Bit of decoration, right? And this smoker thing can just go... Apparently, you can't put it anywhere. I'll just have to put it in the magical chest that we don't know what we're doing with yet. There we go. Right, so I need some clay. Okay, we don't have any clay. Uh, how can we get some clay? Clay balls. So I've just been looking into the diamond axe here. I want to melt it down because you get three gems. But the problem with this is, if I look at a seared brick, I obviously need some grout. And to get grout, I need clay, which I don't know how I'm going to get. And sand, I don't really know how I'm going to get unless a wandering trader spawns in and magically has sand. So I think, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go for something called a pulverizer. Um, which contains flint, pistons. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, these slimes. I need to build like a sky base or something. How did my health go up so quick? It's crazy. Um, also, what does this trinket actually do? I need to enable it, right? Oh my god. We're going to have to just shut the door. 
looking into it, guys, we're gonna have to get into a, a little bit of create, I think, just to get some clay and sand. Um, I can't really see another way of doing this, so I'm gonna have to go back in the nether. Ouch! And try and find some quartz a minute. Um, just so I can make some diorite. Because then I can make some andesite with the diorite and cobblestone, right? I don't really know of another way of getting andesite for now. Because I need a lot of andesite for the andesite alloys um, that Create uses, right? So yeah, we're, we're going to hunt down for some uh, quartz a minute. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to find some. Um, but again, this has got like some weird crazy biomes in it. So then again, it might be quite hard to find some. I, I don't honestly know. Um, I better equip that shield again, right? Just for safety. I really don't think it's going to be that hard. But this is all blackstone, which is different. Um, I think what I'm going to do, by the way, is also mark off my uh, portal. Where am I? <laughs> there I am. Okay. So if I'm there, my portal was somewhere. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to have to just go back. So a quick update. I haven't found any quartz so far. Um, it's all because this is all blackstone. It's not just Neverack. Um, I've also found some dimensional shards as well. Um, again, I genuinely don't know what these things do. And what is going on here? This is like new cactus. Wait, what? That hurts you. <laughs> okay, bit weird. Nylum soul soil. I've never seen this before. None of this stuff has EMC on it though. Um, so it's not really very valuable to me right now. Um, it does look kind of cool in a way though. It's a bit weird. Um, can't see any quartz though. I don't know what that is there. Uh, I guess I could kind of look. Maybe it's just some sort of plant or something. Okay. I'm not really too sure what's going on here. <laughs> just need some quartz. Oh my god. This is going to be a challenge. The quest. <gasps> oh my god. I can see some right there. Look. I can see some quartz. Okay. We've got it guys. We just need to get over there very safely. Uh, okay. This doesn't look very safe to me. Oh my god. There's loads of it. It's fine. Just don't epic fail it then. We got this. Well, hey! I mean, the easiest option for me right now would be probably to find myself a fortress because this is going to be more of a backwards kind of technique to uh, to, to get some diamonds in, in general because I have to make other stuff like from create now, unfortunately. It's going to be a bit of a grind just to get this diamond. Um, but hey, it's worth it, right? This is the consequences of playing in a flat world. <laughs> it adds to the challenge. It makes you think outside the box, right? Um, but once we've got one diamond, we can just literally duplicate it quite easily with the uh, transmutation table, right? So there we go. We have got some andesite look by making diorite with quartz. Um, that's pretty good. So I can save this all in here now. And now I can just take the andesite. I think I need two, isn't it? And then I need some nuggets. Two of them. And I'm hoping that I can craft this. Yes, it's got, it's got EMC on it. Right, there we go. So now we can take andesite, boom. And now we can start the process of this. So we can take shafts. I guess it's all going to be able to go in there. So that's cool. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Okay, I think this is probably the last thing I need. Some rose quartz. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just going to chuck it in and grab it back again. There we go. So you can see I've got a load of different items at the top here in my hotbar look. Pretty cool. Um, but I need this for this because I need to make the crushing wheel and basically the whole point of this is just so I can get something But honestly guys, I forgot what I needed to get <laughs> Okay, so I've morphed myself into a creeper to stop um, You know slimes and stuff attacking me but just because they're annoying, but hey, we're gonna have to put up with them for now um, Obviously, I could build myself a bit of a base in the sky or something um, but anyway I haven't built one of these for a very long time, so hopefully I can remember how to do this. But I've got everything I need to uh, go ahead and make myself early... Oh my god, that's weird. It made a creeper cell when I took damage. Um, an early kind of 
water wheel system. No, Dan. We want that. We want that flip the other way. Again, it's been a while since I've played with this, so bear with me. I can't remember if three's good or if it's two. I think it might be okay with just two, but hey. We'll just do it like that for now. So I can break these, and then I can put these gear shift things in here. And this is what rotates the actual um, shafts as such. Look at my hand! Why has the creeper got a hand? That's so weird. Okay, and then we use these to make these things power. Now, I need a millstone because I can make sand with it, but I can't honestly remember why I need to create. Um, yeah, I, I don't really remember. That's the problem when you play modded. You, you kind of get a bit lost, right? Um, I guess I could... Have I not got a shovel? Oh. Okay. So I've just made a very quick infinite water source look, and all I need to do is that. And that should be it, guys, right? I can probably break this as well if I really want to, but I'm just going to actually leave it for now. It's fine. But in an ideal situation, again, I would be making that out of glass, but hey. So now I've got some rotational power. I think that's what you call it. I can honestly remember. But anyway, I can um, attach some shafts now to this. Enable spin look. Ooh, this is new. I haven't seen uh, the arrows point on it before. But um, yeah, I can do things like that if I want, and then I can extend this and power all my special things. But a way to make this power faster is by adding these to it, if I remember correctly. So if you add, I think, uh, it's been a very long time, guys. I think I have to do stuff like this, and then I have to extend this out or something. And now you can see this one's quite slow, but this one's a bit faster, look. So if I extend this again, it's going to get even faster if the slime wouldn't touch me, if I remember correctly. Like I say, it has been a very long time. There we go. So you can see that one is extremely more faster than that one. Um, it's a bit of an unusual mechanic, but this is how it works. It's all about rotational speed or something, if I remember correctly. But yeah, now if I hook up, say, this mill thing, I'm pretty sure... Oh, how does this work again? How do I attach this? I think I might need to get another one of these um, these things here. So I can, like, move it across, if that makes any sense. Uh, I think I might need to do it like that, though. So that's like that, and then that should spin on the top. Yeah, there we go. So I think I can just put things inside there now, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to have to raise it up a bit so we can get in there. So now I think I can just put like cobblestone in there and it should change to sand and stuff. How do you do it? Do you throw it in? Yeah, you throw it in. Okay. No idea where that went. I think it changed to gravel. But all we're interested in is sand, right? We need one piece. I think you have to click it. No, I got flint. Okay. Can I just chuck in like a whole stack? I think I can. Okay, we'll let that do its thing for a minute. Um, honestly, though, guys, I can't honestly remember why why I wanted this. I think it may be just before the sand. I'm, I genuinely can't remember. <laughs> I think I've lost my marbles. So I've just been looking into it, guys. It is only possible to get sand from the crushing wheels, look. If I click on the miller, it has to be sandstone, unfortunately. Um, so that's why I need that. Okay, so we are going to have to go down this route. But the problem is, I can't get sand to make the sandpaper. Oh, we can get end sand. <laughs> Just as bad. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Can we make like a wandering trader spawn in? Oh no, it's not popping up. Oh dear. Okay. Um... I don't know what to do, guys. I'm going to go in my little house a minute and have a think. Oh, dear. Okay, this is a strange one, guys. But for me to get red sand, I need clay. Okay. Um. So it's not going to be normal sand. It's going to be red sand. But the way I can get it is by using the mill. And if I crush down terracotta, it changes to red sand. Look. The only way I can see that I can get clay is with this sludge refiner. Um, but this requires a plastic, which I don't have. 
um, which requires a latex processing unit. And I need a latex bucket, which I can get from a spout. <laughs> oh my god. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Uh, okay, guys, so I think I've uh, cracked it. I think I can do this. So <laughs> what I need to do is put some charcoal in here. And I believe it's going to turn into a black dye. Then I can make something here called a drying basin. And then I can dry out some white terracotta that is attached to these houses. Yes, we got some dye, look. Perfect. And uh, yeah, I can dry it out in the drying basin and it will change back to terracotta. Then I can crush that down and make red sand, I think. I think that's what i got to do. Anyway, black dye. I think this just works like this, right? And apparently it takes five seconds. And it should turn into... Yep, yeah, there we go. Turned into terracotta. You can chuck that in there. And then with that, I can use this. I can go to that and I can make it into red sand loop. Then I can make glass. And that's the glass side of things done. So next up, I got a mechanical press. And I need to throw some iron down, I think, if I remember correctly. And it should turn it into... An iron sheet. Ooh, they don't have EMC. That's a bit annoying. Okay, I think I have to do these one by one. Um, I think I need five of these because I'm trying to make myself an encased fan right now. So I can blow some water. No, blow some lava, sorry, onto some magma to get obsidian. Guys, this is a very rabbit hole situation right now. I'm pretty sure I don't need that anymore. Um, but that's good to know. I guess you can You have to do pra uh, plates all the time, unfortunately. Uh, right, let's just get rid of all of this stuff for a minute. Right, so what do we need here? We need a cogwheel. So I should be able to make the propeller look, and I should be able to make the rest of this. There we go. So we've got the encased fan. I'm just going to put this... Oh, not the pork chop. The iron sheet in there, and I can get rid of that. So all you need to do with that is just put some water or lava in front of it, and it will just blow it onto items. So what I can do is grab some lava. You've got to be really careful with this, and I'm probably going to go sleep in a minute, um, because it can set a light to everything. No, <laughs> I played with this before on a sky block, and uh, I, I, I paid the, con the consequences, I guess, is what you could say. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure I can just attach that to that. Yeah, there we go. So if I put lava there, I'm pretty sure if it blows, it makes fiery like particles, so I've got to be very careful. We'll do something like that, maybe. Uh, let's just do that for now. See? That lava is going to go, so we do need to um, make a sign or something. And then that will stop that from flowing. We're just going to call that Lava Pro. I, I don't even know what that means. But anyway, if I stand in that, it will kill me or, like, burn me. But, apparently, if I throw a magma block in there, it will change to obsidian. Now, this is the only way I could see or think that this is going to work for me is because I don't have an iron... I uh, don't have a diamond pickaxe, right? I was trying to write pickaxe then. Um, so, yeah, this is the only way I can think of how to get obsidian without mining it. Um, let's just see if this works. It will take a bit of time, probably. We should be able to just collect that from over here, I hope. Oh, it's done something. I think it just killed it. So I completely misread it, guys. It's actually water. Um, just just laugh at me in the comment section. Okay. I can get rid of that bucket. Okay, so we try this again, then. So it should be water that cools it down. That makes a bit more sense, right? Should change it to obsidian, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And this won't hurt me, I don't think. No. Maybe if I was like a, oh no, a blaze or something, it might. Cool. Well, at least we got some obsidian now. Um, but that was the only way I could think of how to get it without mining, if you know what I mean. Right. So now we've got that, we can make this solidification chamber, um, and. Boom. Done. So if I look at uses, um, 
apparently I just put water in it and that's all I have to do pretty much. So if we grab the terracotta, it should turn it back into its clay form. Uh, we're just going to put that thing there for a minute and we'll put that bucket back and grab some water a minute. Should turn it back into clay, I hope. No, it didn't do anything. Okay, this thing actually requires power, which I was totally unaware of. I filled up with water and nothing really happened. So I'm going to make this pitiful um, generator just because I think it's probably the easiest one for me to go for. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. Yep, there we go. Nice. Uh, we'll just move the bed for now. Hopefully this works. Yeah, it's giving it power. Look, perfect. So let me just let that store up a bit. Let's just see if this works now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to make clay. Yes, it did. <laughs> Finally. Right, cool. We can ditch all of this stuff for now. And we'll just put it in here. If we ever need it again, we can easily just grab it back out and we can put our bed back. Exactly the same sort of thing with this as well, actually. Oh, what happened there? That broke super quick. Okay. Well, we're getting there, guys. Right, so the whole purpose of this was just to get into tinkers. So now I've got the clay. And we can grab that. And now I can get, get some uh, gravel. And I'm pretty sure we can make grout. Yes, there we go. So now I can get rid of all this. And now we can get the grout. And I guess I could just cook up one of them, really, right? Probably. Uh, we'll just use sticks for now. Probably, and that's going to have EMC. I hope it will. I could probably get rid of all of this stuff now, for now, because I don't think I really need it. Yes, it does have EMC, thank God. Okay, now we've got some seared bricks. We can get into tinkers quite easily. And we can do that. Boom. Um, off the top of my head, one of these, uh, one of these. Um, I probably need some glass. For a tank. Boom, boom, boom. Let me grab one of you, one of you, one of you. Load of them. Uh, four sits, right? Oops. That wow, was so much crafting. Um, I can't remember the rest. <laughs> That's right, Tinkers has changed quite a lot, hasn't it? If I remember correctly, you have to make one of these and then wrap it up or something, don't you? Oh no, there we go, it was there. Then you make this thing and then you have to pour stuff on to get this. That's right. Uh, do we even have any copper? Ooh, copper might be an issue for now. Whoa, dude, you scared me then. Um, First smelter, you place above a tank. So I think that's all I need, right? For my setup, I only want to get a diamond, so I need some gold, right? And I need an emerald to make the cast. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's everything. We'll just put this out here for a minute. So we put the tank down, we put this thing here. We grab one of them there. Uh, put this thing here. That like that. And then that can go here. We just put some lava in the middle. May as well just grab four buckets, right? It's completely full. One, two, three, four. Thanks, slime. There we go. And then I think I can just go in here and chuck my axe in there. Oh no, not enough hate heat. <laughs> Okay, that sucks. Um, we could do the cast though, that's not a problem. We'll get that sorted. Uh, so they should mount and I can pour that on that and that should make a, a gem cast, right? There we go. No, you can EMC them, that sucks. Okay, we've got the cast ready, that's good. Oh my god, what was that noise? Um, copper now, oh god. So we need copper. How, do, how are we going to get copper? I have no idea. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to get into laser drilling. Jeez. Which I need diamonds for. <laughs> oh my god. The never ending circle. Is there no never copper? No. What's that though? So I'm just having a quick look here. The only things I can see is a copper can and this copper coin. How do I get a copper coin? Literally only that way. Oh man. Really copper's gonna block me now, isn't it? Oh no. So, um, I'm a bit disappointed really. I, I'm a bit like blocked right now. I can think of a way of getting copper. The only thing I can think of is maybe, maybe, maybe some hostile mobs spawn in with copper. But I really doubt this. I really do. I don't think hostile mobs are going to spawn in with copper gear. And obviously, oh no, obviously in uh, vanilla Minecraft, we can get copper from drowns, right? So maybe I could try that, but it's not popping up on GUI. So guys, I've had a bit of a roadblock. I don't think I can get a diamond this week. <laughs> um, unless this special material over here, let me just go in here again and have another deep search. Um, I've, I've been searching for a good 20 minutes now. It's not really looking very good, guys. Um, I genuinely am baffled, guys. So I'm probably going to end episode three right there. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Dan Ross Probs. If you have any ideas how to get copper, let me know in the comment section from a flat world. I don't even know if it's possible. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.